Good evening, my fellow citizens. Well, I'm sure we have all heard by now the devastating news that 2017 just may be the final year of production for the Honda CBR 600RR due to the new Euro 4 emission standard being implemented January 1st, 2017. And you guessed it, Europe. Now pat yourself on the back and give yourself a goddamn cookie. Now, all right, as sad as news as this is, it does make sense that Honda does not want to completely redesign the 600RR to meet the new standard um, due to the fact that 600cc Supersport class sales are down and it costs the same amount of money to produce their flagship Supersport, the CBR 1000RR, as it does to build the 600RR. Now, as weird as this sound, it is true and it makes perfect sense from a business standpoint. As a Superbike fan and sport bike rider personally i find this extremely heartbreaking as i ride a 2006 600 double r and i love this motorcycle so let's move on as we pay homage to a sexy mean sport bike the cbr 600 double r and how it has evolved from its debut in 2003 right up until the 2017 model the CBR 600RR is a 599cc sport bike that was brought to light in 2003 when Honda released it as a race replica version. It has literally won every Supersport World Championship from 2002 to 2008 and again in 2010 to 2014. That's pretty damn impressive in my books. And have I mentioned an Undertale exhaust? That is so sexy. Sex on wheels. Now, in 2003, Honda officially released the 600RR, like I said, as a race replica version of their street-oriented F4i series. It was based off the technology used in their Honda RC211V MotoGP bike, and the 600RR was built to look similar. It was extremely track-oriented. The 600RR was released with brand new hollow fine die cast frame and given a ceramic interior coating to give it thinner, making it possible to keep a strong frame but keep it much, much lighter. The 2004 model was exactly the same, the only difference was Honda added an oxygen sensor. Now in 2005 and 2006 models, the 600RR got a major overhaul, receiving new bodywork, fully adjustable inverted forks, radio mounted four piston calipers, all new aluminum frame, new swing arm and rear shock. Now the mid-range power was increased and many refinements of both the engine and exhaust system managed to help bring the wet weight down by 22 pounds. The 2006 model is what I ride like I said before and she is a beast. Plus that undertail exhaust gives me a hard on every single time. In 2007 the 600RR got a complete redesign with a brand new engine, brand new framework again, bodywork. Weight was the major focus of this redesign. 20 pounds were sha shaved off compared to the 2006 model. The new engine was smaller and more compact and weighed 4.4 pounds lighter than the previous engine. Horsepower is still around 400 or 105 horsepower, but the frame was lighter and more compact than the 2006 model. It had a shorter wheelbase, helping keep the 2007 to 2008 models extremely sharp in handling. Goddamn fucking cut your throat. Honda is renowned for its handling. Um, it also had an updated version of the Honda Electronic Steering Dampener System, HESD, also available on their CBR 1000RR. Now, for the 2009 model, Honda introduced a revised version of the motorcycle, giving it ABS braking as an option. I'm not a big fan of ABS. Um, updates to the engine like piston, cylinder head, and new exhaust system um, that Honda claimed to increase torque between 8 and 12,000 RPM were also added. New fairings were introduced. Um, basically, from 2009 until 2012, the 600RR remained relatively unchanged. I wasn't overly repressed, r impressed with that model year. When it came to the 2013 model, they switched it up to new 12-spoke rims, revised ECU settings, and a new fine-tuned ram air system that supposedly increased torque. Um, they also added big piston forks on the front, show us uh, a retuned rear shock with new bodywork, and um, basically a lot of minor changes and this continued all the way up until the 2017 model that was just released. Um, the only difference is the 2017 Honda CBR 600RR does have 
sexy as fuck bodywork. Um, Honda has stated that due to the Euro 4 standard that came out, affected January 1st, 2017, the chances of a model after 2017 are unlikely. As it is too costly to justify a complete redesign of the engine, as stated, the sales in the 600 Supersport class are down. So, it is sad that the 2017 model remains unchanged except for the new bodywork scheme, which I think is personally pretty sexy. But let's hope the 600 R finds a way to stay alive, gets a nice full redesign. So, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to share. And smash the hell out of that like button. Ride safe. Peace.